I'm Dr. Osara Iron, uh, Director of Multicultural Affairs here at SFA. Tunnel repression, um, the purpose is to kind of raise awareness, um, enlighten people about what um, other people are experiencing in the world and also in our backyard. So we actually, there would be different skits. It's really an interactive museum to raise awareness about just oppression going, going on elsewhere. Really, all the rooms are, they're incredible this year. I mean, I mean the, the skits, they put in a lot of work. And so it, it's, we, we have people walking out saying, wow, I didn't know that. Or wow, I, I'm going to be more conscious of, you know, X, Y, and Z. So, yeah. I, it really takes from even towards the end of summer, we start talking about it. I mean, we start talking about it throughout the whole year, but really start prepping. And then summer, beginning of school year is when we really hit hard. And then literally up to the day of, we're just making sure everything's on point. So it, it's it's a it's a, a few months, and we try to make sure it's, it's as good as possible. So what we do is the Office of Multicultural Affairs and the student organization that is one of the main like people over it as well is the Lumberjack Cultural Association. But then we have different orgs that are involved in each room um, that take part in different things. So we'll have, actually, the, the first room is just a group of students that are involved in the Office of Multicultural Affairs, the first two rooms. Then we've had some, we have some students from Sigma Lambda Beta that are involved. We have students from the Asian Culture Club. We have um, students from NAACP that are involved. I see people just kind of saying, wow, I didn't know that, or that it's, it's intense. They say, wow, that was, that was intense. But I'm happy I went through it because I learned something. And I learned something, and they learn stuff about themselves as well. And we hope that it'll also help people understand the importance of helping others too. Because when you see oppression going on, you need to be able to speak up when somebody when you see somebody being oppressed. So most powerful is students are the ones who are acting in this room. You know, it's it's um, they're not professional actors. They they're taking time out of their day. It takes a lot of dedication. So I mean, for me, it's really it's amazing like what students are are willing to help you know help put together for for a great cause.